Hey guys, today I'll show you how to perform a standard mist approach. The mist approach segment is designed to get you back in the air and set up for another approach, sort of like a mini departure procedure, which would end at the point where ATC can re-vector you in. We are currently on the ILS 7 left in Daytona Beach. On the final approach segment, our DA is 230 feet. Since the ILS is a precision approach, it uses a DA which is basically a go-no-go -no -go point where you decide if you can continue the approach based on the visual cues that you are either seeing or not seeing of the runway. Looking at the plate for the ILS 7 left, the missed approach procedure will have us climb to 700 feet and then turn right to the Smyra fix and climb to 3000. It is also stated that the fix is 33.1 miles from the Orlando VOR on a 033 radial. Once we'll get to Smyra, we'll hold there until further ATC instructions. We do have to keep in mind that ATC can deviate from this procedure based on real-time factors affecting the airspace and traffic flow. The missed approach procedure is often a part of the approach briefing that is overlooked and not taken too seriously, especially as most of the approaches done in the training are either visual with foggles or actual, but the weather isn't bad enough to initiate a missed approach. Also, going mixed can sometimes feel as a quote-unquote failure from a pilot's ego perspective, which can lead to not thinking rationally and doing things like going past the DA a couple of feet just because you're sure that the runway is just there and we're almost able to see it. That's a similar feeling to deciding to go around if your approach is not stabilized in your private pre-solo training. My three tips in general for bad weather approaches are, first of all, try to get as many pilot weather reports of the runway you are going for, especially from planes ahead of you. Secondly, when you brief the missed approach segment, try to remember the first set of actions you're supposed to do in case you decide to go missed. In our case today, climb to 700 feet and turn right to Smyra. Thirdly, after going missed, debrief the approach. Try to understand if the missed approach was due to your performance or the weather was just too bad for the minimums. Then take the decision if you should try the same approach again, switch approach, preferably to one with lower minimums, or go to your alternate airport. That was my take on missed approaches, see you guys next time.